A 90-year-old North Hollywood man loves to stream movies and TV shows, but he says his AT&T internet, which is billed as super fast, is actually so slow, it's like movies become slideshows. Well, he complained and complained, but he says AT&T couldn't make things any better. So that's why he decided to go big. He spent big bucks on an ad in the Wall Street Journal to shame the company. Kick on Sarah Donchi has more on how that worked out for him. Aaron Epstein is a guy who knows what he likes, streaming movies and internet TV. But a word to the wise, don't get between Aaron and his Wi-Fi speed. With three megabytes per second, which was the only speed at t has been giving me, it was, yeah, I don't know if you're familiar with the term buffering. Aaron says he's been with AT&T for 60 years, says his parents were AT&T customers even longer. But when he noticed their ads for lightning fast speeds, it bothered him. So he started calling customer service over and over. Well, it was simply the frustration of calling AT&T over the last five years saying, why aren't you giving me the faster internet speed? But Aaron says his internet was so slow, watching movies was like watching a slideshow. That's when it dawned on him. I just said, well, there's only one way of getting to them. And so I said, let's put an ad in the Wall Street Journal in the New York City edition that would reach the investors. Turns out ads in the Wall Street Journal aren't cheap, and Aaron shelled out a pretty penny to make his point. $10,099. You seem like a really savvy guy. I mean, really savvy. So I wonder why not go the social media route and post something there? Everybody else has said the exact same thing you did, Sarah. You're not alone. Uh, and now, I will ask you, how do you post on social media? Aaron even put his phone number and email address in the paper. As you can imagine, it got a lot of attention. He said people were reaching out left and right, some critical, others supportive, some offering their own slow internet advice. Offered to install my own fiber optic system in my own home. I don't have the foggiest idea what that involved or how to do it. Or people have been telling me to sign up for T-Mobile and they have an internet service that's attached to their uh, phone Wi-Fi system. I'm not familiar with that. But the old school route, it worked. And the other day, Aaron says he got a call from AT&T. It was all part of what some might call a well-thought-out public relations strategy. Corporations, they don't listen necessarily to the, the homeowner on the street. They listen to the press. It gets the word out that people are not happy. We reached out to AT&T and they confirmed that somebody from the company did speak with Mr. Epstein. They didn't say anything specific about his troubles. They pointed us to a generic statement about the billions of dollars they say they've invested in the Los Angeles area. Mr. Epstein doesn't have faster internet yet, but he's hoping that it could come. He's also hoping his neighbors will get the same. Sarah Donchi, KCAL 9 News. Sounds like a follow-up at some point in time. <laughs>